Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Today we are playing something new to the channel. We are playing Skyblocks. And I'm playing with Forever Kitties. Hey kitties. Hi. How are you doing? Good. Okay, so guys, little confession. I've been kind of obsessed with this game because of kitties. Kitties got me into playing Skyblocks and I'm like here all the time. And guys, I have been working on my island. I'm about to show you guys what I have been doing. Um, so get ready for this. Okay, guys, first we're going to show you this little island right here. This is basically like oh, where all my cheese are. But now this over here is the most important part. It's the rest of my island. Ready, guys? Tada Islands. Yes, guys, this is what I've been doing. Look at this. This is basically my islands or islands. So over here, I have um, basically my farming islands. <laughs> So I have my onions here, I have my wheat, I have my potatoes, I have um, the water catcher here, and then I have my uh, washing station for my oily crops, which basically um, are down there. I will show you guys later. Um, so yeah, I have my carrots and I have my tomatoes and kitties is waiting for some tomatoes to drop on her head. <laughs> some oily tomatoes. Kitties, get out of there. You're going to get your um, hood all dirty. <laughs> So yeah, guys, um, if you come this way, there's like a ladder there and there's a ladder over there and another one here. And down here is where I collect all my um, my crops. But these are basically oily because of the conveyor belts. It makes the um, it makes the crops oily. So that's what the um, washing station is for. I have to um, clean all of my crops except for the wheat. Wheat, you don't really have to um, clean them because they don't get dirty. But everything else gets dirty, so we have to wash them. So, um, I mean, we don't have to wash them. I mean, you can sell them um, oily, but the thing is that you just won't get enough money as if you'll they were get clean. More money if they're clean. There you go. Yeah, you'll get more money for them if they are nice and clean. Because who wants to buy oily carrots or oily tomatoes and potatoes? Oh, they have, like, bugs on them. I know it looks disgusting. <laughs> But yeah, that's my farming island, guys. And I have these, um, the totems. So basically what these things do is um, they pick up the tomatoes or whatever um, crops I have planted. And then they put them on the conveyor belt. And the conveyor belt basically pushes them into the um, the chest, the collection chest, which is down there. And there's a tomato. There it goes. Okay. And these are my carrot totems. And I have potato totems. And I have wheat and onions so yeah that's how it works guys you see it basically picks up the um the crops and it drops them down there into the um chest and on this side is my um my ores island oh. yeah so i have my iron totems here so i have all my iron going down there and same as in the other islands um, this one I have two of, well, one of each. This is um, stone and this is, oh no, these are both stone. Never mind. That's the wrong one. It's this one. This one I have a clay totem and I have a coal totem. Since I don't really use these that much, I just figured I would um, make them share. But yeah, and then again, I come here and I collect my stuff. And I just empty it out and that way it can keep um, collecting more of these items for me. These I actually uh, use quite a lot. The... Um, the stone because I, I sell them and also the um the iron the iron ores these are good because you make the iron um the iron bars where are they um I know I have some I just can't find them now where are they oh here they are they're right here I have 327 of those so yeah those are my um my auto farms pretty much and then I have a whole bunch of trees all over the place because why not? I have maple and birch and just regular and pine. And they're so beautiful. I love all the trees, guys. And this is my house. Isn't it pretty, guys? I yes, I have to give shout outs to um, certain people because I didn't build this all by myself. I had a lot of help, guys. Um, a lot of people donated um like a whole bunch of things to me so um special shout outs to dabber and forever kitties because they basically were the ones that helped me make like everything um i had some someone making the wood and um they were also helping me put down like the um pieces of blocks and stuff to build the house so 
special shout outs to them and also to um Imatut because um he was the first one who actually like donated a whole bunch of stuff that um got me started so shout outs to them and to just everybody who has um you know just given me a whole bunch of stuff here um Lily and um wow. Pro and Ella and Madly and just a whole bunch of people and I'm sorry if I forgot your names but it was like a lot of people donating so yeah um, I have two furnaces here. This is how I make my iron ore. So what I do is open this up and um, I put some iron ores there and then I put a piece of coal in there and then it starts up, you see guys? And it basically melts it and it turns it into the iron bars, which we can sell or use to like make um, a whole bunch of stuff. And this is my carpentry station where I build all these beautiful items. I still have to get collect like a whole bunch of blueprints, but um, those are the ones that I have for now. And then here I have my industrial sawmill, which I make um, like, what is it, planks? I've, yeah, I made the wood, wood planks here. Then here I have my workbench tier three, which is, I can make a whole bunch of different items. And uh, yeah. This game is really interesting. Like, I, at first, I did not think I would get into this game because it reminded me of Minecraft, and I'm not really much into Minecraft, but Kitties, um, she she made me see how awesome this game is. So I was like, you know what, let me try it, and, um, yeah. And this is my anvil. This is where I create all my beautiful, um, axes and other items that I need. I got the best one that yeah. I can make it. Gave it to me. Yeah, Kitties has the gilded, um, what is it, hammer? it's gilded something i didn't quite Gil see gilded steel yeah gilded steel hammer um but she didn't make it herself guys it was gifted to her i made my own um my own weapon which is this one i have let me see if i can put these things away to make oh, space here i have this one which is what is this called the iron war axe guys it's pretty cool i wanted that one at first but then somebody gave me this one yeah I really need it I have my stone cutter here, so this is where I make the stones, like these stones, I, I will make it on um, this um, station right here, all these stones that like you see at the bottom. And yeah guys, these are my trees and stuff, and I made these beautiful little benches here, and um, these tables with the umbrellas, they are so cute, you can actually sit here. Look at that, isn't that cute? We can sit here on a nice summer day, and um... If I had, like, a little grill here, actually, I could just use the furnace. We could have some, you know, hot dogs and burgers and stuff. And this is the house, guys. Um, Why is my door upstairs open? I don't know. I have double doors, by the way, because I just like the way it looks. And these are my berry trees or berry bushes. I have grapes around the house. Flowers. Flowers, yes. Trees. So now I'm going to show you guys the inside of the house, okay? So... You're going upstairs? Okay. So this is basically like, I know it's, it's kind of empty. I haven't really worked much on the inside yet. But this is kind of like the um, dining area, um, kitchen, and my fireplace, guys. Look at this. Isn't this cool? Um, I actually made this from scratch um, with the help, of course, of um, Dabber. Dabber. Dabber had the idea. No, I had the idea of making the fireplace. Like, I had made the fireplace. I had actually made it smaller. But um, she had the idea of putting the actual campfire in it. So then we had to basically destroy the, the original fireplace that we had and make it bigger to um, fit the campfire. So what you do is you add, um, where is the pieces of wood? Uh, I can't find any piece of wood. Why? I don't have pieces of wood. Are you serious? There it is. Okay. So there you go. See, guys? Isn't it cool? And it goes all the way up. It goes all the way up? What? Yeah, like not the, the smoke. I mean like the um fireplace. It goes all the way up. So yeah, guys, I have this nice um comfy sitting chair couch. It's kind of like a chair. And I could just sit here by the fire, read a book or whatever, even though I don't have books in my house, but um it's fine. Ew. Hey. And this is my bedroom. Isn't it awesome, guys? Look at this. And of course I have another uh chair here. I forgot to put the um the, the carpet here i have to do that i forgot but this is my bed this was a gift from dabber so shout out to her this 
Yes, this was also a gift, and I think this chair was also a gift from her. So she's like, she's been really, really helpful. Like she's been doing a lot, and I appreciate all the help that you know all my friends give me. This is my porch. It's like super big. I love it. I love the way um it turned out. I think it came out so nice. And um, we actually have one more level, which is the attic. I haven't I done anything. <laughs> I haven't done anything here at all. Like, I don't know what I'm e even going to put up here. This is my idea. But, yeah, this is, like, this is the whole fireplace. It reaches all the way to the top, guys. And if you can look, it, it actually goes up. I'm going to show you how it looks from the outside. It looks so good. I'm going down the fireplace. Yeah, I'm going to go down the fireplace, too, because it's the quickest way. It's like a little elevator, kind of. <laughs> the cave. Says. Yeah. And let's see. I'm going to show you guys the back of the house now. So over here, this is the fireplace. Look, guys. Doesn't it look cool? And I have these little steps here because that way I can, um like, climb on top of the actual house, like, all the way to the roof, the fireplace. This yeah. is my whole island, guys. Look at this. And I've done all this with the help of my friends in like five days. And I know there's still more that I have to do, but I think for five days, I've done pretty good. Like, I think I've done a lot of work so far. But yeah, guys, this is my island here on Skyblocks. I don't know if you guys have played it. Um, I know a lot of my friends have played it because um, they follow me into the game. But yeah, we're actually going to go check out the rest of the... um the islands or the market just in case you guys haven't checked it out uh over here is the banker so like you can buy things you can do like tasks and he'll give you like sometimes the blueprints and stuff um you can buy coins to like sell and trade then over here um a lighting station i don't really have that and we have a baker who i've never ever visited before <laughs> Uh, this is my first time actually visiting the baker. I have never sold anything or bought anything. I don't even think you can buy anything from him. Okay, so we have to sell things to the baker, but I've never actually sold anything to him. And this is where um, we buy blocks and stuff. Like we can buy grass and uh, grass and glass and carpets. And we can actually sell things to him as well. Like this is where I sell all my stone. So if I were to sell all this right now, I would get this amount of coins. I'm actually going to sell a few of them right now because I have so many. So yeah, you do that. Then over here, we have the crops. This is where we sell our crops and we also um, buy seeds from the guy standing next to him. Uh, let me sell these real quick. Um, I don't think, no, I don't have any um, grapes. So yeah, right here, we can buy a whole bunch of seeds to... Um, to plant on our islands we have tree saplings and stuff um over here we have oh this is where i bought this is where you buy the totems guys so this is they're kind of expensive though but they help out a lot especially if you want to have like the auto farm this is where you come to get the um totems guys so uh look at the prices two thousand four thousand three thousand five three ten thousand 5,000, 500, 6,000, and 8,000. So they're not cheap, but um, they actually come in real handy. So, And here, we can actually uh, come and fish. And then we can sell it to the fishermen. Yes, we can sell it to the fishermen, the, the fish that we collect or the, that we, we actually catch. Like there we go. I just do it like this. Get it, get it, get it, get it. You stole my fish. No, I didn't. I didn't even get one. <laughs> Are you serious? I didn't get it either. Are you serious? Can I get a fish though? Like you stay on that side. Okay. Give me this one. Come on, hurry before Kitty comes over here and tries to get you from me. I got, I got Dory. Why I can't I can't fish I got, now? Look, I got Dory. I got Come here, Dory. you. Okay, finally I got a salmon. <laughs> so yeah, so you get um uh, as many fish as you want, and then we just come to this fisherman dude, and uh we sell our fish. Which ones do I have? I have. Okay. Which is the salmon? Um, the, first one. the first one? Oh, it is. Okay, so, and he'll basically give you coins for your fish. Um, let's see. Over here is the mining area. So this is where you will get your ores. If you don't have like um, your own mining island like I do, you will come over here to um, basically mine your ores. And you can get stone here. And you can also get um, coal. These are the coal ones. 
these are the stone and then the ones with the little um like diamonds on top those are the uh oh gosh what it's called iron <laughs> the iron ores so yeah then over here guys this is the island where you go to um basically fight the fight the bad guys or the bad um like it's kind of like mobs but in like Roblox. yeah okay so the the only thing is that you actually have to buy a key every time you want to go into the portal so you'd have to come and talk to him, this guy right here and buy one of these slime island keys and then um you just come in here but you have to go prepared because y need, you need a weapon you need weapons. yeah um you need a weapon you i think the first thing you would be able to get is like a wooden sword and then all you have to do is um basically defeat these things <laughs> Just click on them, and um, sometimes they drop, like, this one drop a slime ball, a green slime ball. They, they can drop slime balls, sticky gears, or the keys to the next portal. Yeah, the next portal, which is the, um, what's it called? Bofacore Bo Island. Island, yeah. How do you say it? Um, I've, I have a whole bunch of those keys, because I've been doing this a lot, trying to get, like, the sticky I have, gears. I think I have almost 20 of them. I have 15. Let me actually see how many I have. Oh, you also get different colors. Like you see, there's like a blue one. The blue ones you get more um for the blue ones than you do for the green ones. If they drop the like the slime balls or um like the gears, even though you don't really need to sell the gears, you can use them to like craft items. The pink ones give you the most money. Yeah, the pink ones are the best, but there's like they hardly ever pop. <gasps> I got a blue sticky gear. Awesome. Okay, so. Die, die. Um, let me show you guys my inventory real quick. Um, I have, these are all the things that I have. Um, where are my, okay, so I have 63 green sticky gears. Um, I actually have 19 gold ores. We, I got those from the next island. Um, I don't see my other keys though, the bul bulk core keys. Why can't I find, oh, there they go. 43! I have 43. <laughs> I have 43 Bulbacore Island keys, guys. What the actual heck? <laughs> I'm telling you, I play this a lot, okay? I'm, like, kind of addicted to the game. But, yeah. There's another blue on the other side. So, yeah, we're just going to do this one, and then we're going to go to the next island, just to show you guys, um, like, the other enemies that you have to defeat. <laughs> okay, so, um, we unfortunately did not find a pink one. Those are difficult to find. Like, they're very, very I rare. Get anything for the blue one. So this is the Bulfacore portal. So you go through in here with those keys that I showed you. And then here, you have to defeat these things. And sometimes these things, they drop um, iron. Or rock dinosaurs. Yeah. Are... Or rock. Um, Not really dinosaurs. More like rhinos, I guess. They will look like rhinos to me. Turtles? No, not turtles. <laughs> So you see, um, I got one gold ore and one iron ore. So these things, they drop either um, iron ore or gold ore. Or sometimes they also drop um, Balfour core, crystal. core crystals, which you can use to one. craft something. I haven't gotten any Balfour Core crystals. They're hard crystals. to get, and today I was, I was fighting them, and on my second kill, I got it. That's awesome. I haven't gotten any yet. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. That's what this game is about. It's, like, super fun. Um, I absolutely love this game. I'm, like, here every single day for hours, and it's so bad because, um, this is, like, the only thing that I play now. <laughs> and I haven't been recording much because I've just been basically building up my island, and honestly, I am so happy with the way that it turned out. So, again, thank you to everybody who, um, helped me with this, everyone who donated, you know, like, either um bricks or iron or anything that um i was able to use because it turned out amazing so yeah hopefully you guys did enjoy the video if you did make sure to give it a like and if you haven't subscribed to the channel and would like to do so go ahead and hit that red subscribe button thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys next time bye